You know all those Notion setup tutorials out there that look super aesthetic and mega productive? You see these gorgeous dashboards and productivity workflows by some of the most productive people on YouTube such as Ali Abdal, Karma Medic and Justin Say. That ain't me. The mere sight of a 15 minute setup video is already too much effort for me and much less watching it and actually organizing my Notion setup. And here's why I'm going to show you how I use Notion, the lazy and low effort way. Let's get straight into it. Okay, so just a quick introduction as to why I use Notion. To me, it's a very good application to organize things that are happening in your life. And it's just a place for me to pen down just about everything in a fast and efficient manner. For people that may have some trouble with remembering things, Notion provides a good platform for you to put these things down. And this can be in the form of video ideas, to school notes, to tracking your fitness. And it really, really packs so much value in a free application. One of the best parts about Notion is that there's online syncing with just a Google account so I can use it on my computer, my iPad, as well as my phone. And personally to me, it's just really free of a lot of clutter and it's not overwhelming if you just stick to the basic blocks of Notion and not go into the Notion rabbit hole. And yeah, it's just really simple and pleasant to look at. It's clean. It can be really clean if you want it to be. Okay, so just a quick tip on how Notion usually works. Each thing you put on here functions as a block, similar to Behance as well as Medium. This block can be a page, can just be text, it can be a checkbox, it can be a header, and you know, you can also transform the block into something else. Let's say I want to change this text block into a page. All I need to do is to click this and press the turn into, and you get this list of items that you can turn it into. So yeah, it becomes a page. You can even change it back into a to-do list or something. There's quite a lot of versatility that's involved here. Okay, so for me, everything in my Notion is centered around this one feature and I like to call it nested pages. And basically it just means having a page in a page in a page in a page, etc. And to me, these nested pages make it really, really easy to track because it functions similar to a folder system like File Explorer, as well as like, you know, Finder on the Mac. As you can see the breadcrumbs at the top here, it's pretty similar to how I do it inside my File Explorer as well. Okay, so just to illustrate this, uh, let me show you a simple example. Okay, so this right here is my Dagoyaki page and this is where I store all of my stuff regarding YouTube, my socials, as well as personal improvement. So let's go through the self-improvement page. As you can see, the self-improvement page is under the umbrella of the Dagoyaki page and when I click into it, there are even smaller pages inside it such as um, Ali Abdal videos, Essentialism. So let's click into Essentialism and voila! Here is the micro page, which is the smallest element of this workflow that I have. Okay, and this is generally how I organize all of my stuff in Notion, and it keeps things very linear for me. You know, it makes it easier for me to track as well. Okay, let's get into the structure of how I do these pages. We are going to go from top down, from macro pages to the micro pages. To me, a macro page is a hub that encompasses other micro pages inside of it. So the macro page will serve as a big picture topic, with the micro pages being all the other subtopics. And as you can see here, usually for the macro pages. I do have a sort of simple layout that I like to follow. For example, let's go to the academics. Usually, I would like to just put a header as well as a divider and then I add the relevant micro pages underneath that header. This helps me organize my micro pages under its relevant subcategory, under the umbrella of the bigger category. The bigger category here being academics. And if I have more than one header, I usually just drag the whole thing to the side so that it's easier for me to view it at a glance. One thing I don't really like is to have to scroll and keeping it visible in one space is crucial to me. And that's one reason I don't actually use the calendar in Notion because it takes up quite a bit of space and I also want to keep my pages with less clutter and more empty space. Okay, so another way to spice up your pages is to add these uh, icons over here which would sort of represent what the thing is about. And here's a cool thing. You can actually use custom icons as well. For example, normally you would only be able to choose from a few emojis but you are also able to upload an image which is, you know, pretty easy. <laughs> and yeah, that's it. You know, you can even take an icon from Google and it's not as hard as you think. So what I like to do is I'll just go to Google. Let's search for something like, oh, okay, books, PNG. So all you need to do is you just click into an image, open image in new tab. You take this link over here, copy and paste it into your Notion and it should change into the books. Uh, come on. Okay, I guess it didn't really work for that one, but <laughs> if you go to my YouTube page or the Instagram page or my Discord page, that is the method I use to add these icons. And of course, I also like to add a cover photo. You can either upload your own photo or you can just go to Unsplash and, you know, search for some photos. And Unsplash has a lot of free to use and high quality photographs, by the way. So I would highly recommend that website if you're looking for photos and like wallpapers. Okay, so moving on to the micro pages. The best part about micro pages to me is that it's pretty much free form and you can tune 
it according to how you like it to be. And as you can see in some of the sample pages that I'm going to show you, it can get pretty chaotic. This is my internship page. This is my year 3 SEM 2 page. You know, it's they're all kind of drastically different from one another. So yeah, applying for LA, blah, blah, blah. And I just tune the format according to what the thing is about. I'm one of those people with a sense of organized chaos where I kind of know where things are, even though it's all over the place. But yeah, that's generally how I do my micro pages, you know. As you can see from all my done video ideas, they're kind of different from one another. Okay, to me, one of the best things about Notion is that formatting is really, really easy when you're trying to type stuff out. So let's say I'm in this test page over here. Let me just create a sample like header over here. And then once I press enter, it defaults back to normal text. And you want to have bullet points, you know, just press a hyphen and, you know, type stuff like, yeah, hello. And if you want to indent these bullet points, all you need to do is press tab. Simple. And if you want to unindent them, just press shift tab. And this is the same for numbered lists. You can type something here, YouTube, and you can hit tab and it indents. So this is just a little hack that we use in computing when you need to add your white spaces. Here's a sample workflow if I'm creating something from scratch. Okay, so first I'll create a micro page and let's just call this uh, NUS. Hit enter to create a page and let me just click into this. I usually just customize the cover and icon immediately because it doesn't take very long. Okay, it looks like it isn't working again for some odd reason. So let's just upload it. So yeah, I'll just upload an icon instead. So just change cover, type in NUS at Unsplash and yeah. That's about it for the basic customization. And you can even try to reposition it as well. And once I'm done, I'll create headers for the different categories. Let's say we create a category that's year four, semester one. And we create it, turn it into a header two. And usually after this, I would like to add in a divider. And then I'll add the relevant micro pages under this divider over here. Let's say I'm taking this module, NM3230, Digital Storytelling. Type it down here, Digital Storytelling. And then I'll turn it into a page. And then I'll actually go into this intermediate page and create pages for each category. So let's say lectures and tutorials. And then I'll turn both of this into micro pages as well. And you can take it even further by going into these micro pages and doing micro pages for each week. So even though the content in the micro pages can be pretty chaotic or messy, the navigation to those micro pages is easy to track and it will be uniquely familiar to yourself. To me, this simple layout is pretty much applicable to everything in my Notion. You know, we can even create a micro page for YouTube right now. So come here, add an icon. And the categories here will be stuff like comedy, or vlogs, you know. And then we can just turn these two into headers and just drag it to the side here. I think I'm just gonna speed this up a little. And yeah, that's about it. As you can see, it's just a really, really simple but versatile method that I use in order to track all these different things in all parts of my life. From my personal branding stuff to academics as well as, you know, finance and even my idea bank as well as like my review page, you know. And yeah, I'll just leave it up to you to come up with your own layout for these micro pages. Okay, so here are just some simple tips for Notion. If you click the three dots up here, you can actually change a lot of things like the font, uh, whether you want it to be small text or whether you want the page to be full width. Okay, so for example, in my YouTube micro slash intermediate page, I use a full width layout because if I don't do that, it's just gonna make me have to scroll a lot more than I need to. And Notion also has a lot of other cool features such as tables and calendars. Oh, so you can add labels to help categorize your pages a little better. And as you can see here, you can make them color coded as well. You can even make it such that there's more than one label on the block. You can even create a Kanban board for my fellow tech friends out there that may be familiar with the concept. But personally, I still think Trello is better for that. But the fact that Notion still allows you to do it is quite crazy. Just a final TLDR on how I do my Notion setup. Create micro pages to hold your micro pages. And if your micro pages can be even more micro, then create more pages into that as well. So yeah, just create pages inside pages inside pages. It should come from a macro perspective into a micro perspective. And once you're feeling a bit more productive and want to get into more Notion features, just go onto YouTube. Because there are so many Notion setup tutorials out there that are really really good. And what I covered here is really just the bare basics of Notion. I'm not sponsored by Notion because I don't have over 50,000 subscribers. But no cap, Notion is easily one of the best applications I've used out there. And you should really get into the Notion train right now. I would pay a monthly subscription on this. I'm a slave to Notion. And you can also open multiple windows of Notion by the way. And that's how I've been reading my script while talking to the camera at the same time. You know, whichever tech team created this amazing application, props to you man. Okay. That's it for the video and I hope it was informative. Do leave a sub if you found it useful and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace!